This project for me was uh, my SSC2 project, which is like a research module that we have in second year that lasts a few months. Um, and we've got to do something that's achievable in that time frame. So f for me, I've, I've found Anki really useful and I was wondering whether people were using it the same way as me. The nature of the work was uh, qualitative, so it was, it's sort of asking opinions. Um, so out of the 70 people out of 100 who said they used flashcards, um, they all gave feedback on, on what they thought makes a good flashcard. I asked them directly and they filled out a questionnaire. And we also had a focus group after talking about it as well. And I basically condensed all of these ideas that they had into sort of key themes. There, there's a few questions I was asking. One was, um, how exactly are you using flashcards? For example, we spoke about space repetition earlier. Um, I was wondering, because for me, that, I found that the key thing in first year, I was just making my own flashcards and then studying them in a random order. And then I realised my friend was doing it and he had all of these graphs and figures and a trending downwards of how he was spending less and less time every day doing these cards. And I was thinking, well, I need to save time, I need to do it that way. So I asked the question to everyone else, were they, did, did they have that eureka moment where they think, oh, actually, I need to do the scheduling, the spaced repetition? And generally, the results from that was that only a small minority of people are following the schedule, but generally, most people are using it in some form. So my, my thing I was trying to find out was, although people are using this really great resource, are they using it the best way they can? And I'm not sure they are. But generally, most people still find it useful without using it to its maximum ability, which is really interesting. So they're all benefiting from the testing effect. So the idea is that if you do a flashcard, uh, if you test yourself on something, you're going to remember it more than just reading it in a book. So one thing that I wanted to do, which I think you actually might have wanted to do when you initially set up the project, was get a direct uh, correlation between use of Anki, whether you use spaced repetition or scheduling, and how that correlated to performance in exams. And I wanted to somehow get access to the exam results or, or let people say what results they got um, and then correlate it to what study method you're using. Um, but the practicalities of that were that you, you can't just go and get results um, and there's sort of an ethical component to that. Um, and it's also, if it's in a questionnaire and you ask them what marks they got straight away, they might just be like, no, I'm not doing this questionnaire, it's too, too personal, I don't want to give up this, this information. So you have to phrase it in a way that they, if they want to give this information, they can give it, or otherwise they can just say anything else that's useful. I didn't realise how difficult it might be to actually uh, write a questionnaire because um, you only have one chance to ask these questions and if you don't phrase the question right, you don't get the right answer. Um, and I, so I've definitely learned about asking the right questions. And I've never led a focus group before, um, so that was good in terms of um, sort of leadership and, and encouraging discussions. And in terms of direct skills, I definitely got a few things out of the project.